A potential ballot question was discussed in a hearing today after dueling rallies on the State House steps in Boston. 22 News State House reporter Ellen Fleming has more about what each side is saying when it comes to leaving a tip. You could be asked this November to decide upon how tipped workers should be paid. However, that proposal first went before a special joint committee that could decide its fate. Under current law, all employees must be paid $15 an hour. However, tipped workers can be paid $6.75 per hour as long as the worker's individual pay with tips totals $15 an hour. One Fair Wage is a national organization working to do away with what they're calling sub-minimum wages. They are proponents of this ballot question which would gradually increase wages for tipped workers over five years until it falls in line with state law of $15 an hour. It also would allow for tip pooling, which is currently banned under state law. Advocates of this question talked today about the harassment hospitality workers face and how those working in restaurants are often marginalized groups. During the pandemic, they called us heroes. They thanked us. And like post-pandemic, they're saying that we're asking for too much when we're asking for the bare minimum. Now, there was a strong showing of individuals from the opposition group, many who are tipped workers themselves, being led by the Massachusetts Restaurant Association. So this is a lose-lose for everyone. This is a lo uh, lost earnings for tipped employees, lost um, revenue for restaurant owners and higher prices for consumers. Now this hearing occurred because the legislature can approve a measure, propose a different version or leave the question up to voters. The legislature has until May 1st to act on ballot initiatives. Now, if they leave the ballot initiative up to voters, sponsors of those proposals will need to gain over 12,000 signatures to get on the ballot. Working for you at the Statehouse in Boston, Ellen Fleming, 22 News.